Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I am in Aachen once again and this is Galeria Kaufhof. Now I've been told that they have a wool department. So we're gonna go and try to find it and see what they have. So come with me. Okay you guys, this is a huge store and a whole lot of walking escalators <laughs> later here I am at the yarn section okay so just a quick walk by first so that you can see what it looks like these are all known German and European brands we're gonna go closer and see the yarn up close but I just wanted to give you a look first and check out this ginormous piece of art <laughs> okay so let's go see what they have okay we're starting with Schachenmeier German yarn company German quality shades of winter is the name of this yarn it is a special edition yarn and from what I understand um, now towards the summer it's going to be discontinued um, so it's on a special price now for four ninety nine. Um, there is one hundred grams, five hundred meters in each ball, so it's a very thin yarn, um, almost lace weight, and um, they classify it as a four, but that's just because of all the halo. Um, you can see it on my hand. That is in no way. It's no way a four, um, but it's because it has a lot of fluff that they classify it as a four weight. Um, let's see. It says here that one ball will make you one shawl, and there is a nice picture here that can show you how the yarn works up. And it is 85% acrylic, 10% wool, and 5% mohair. So yeah, very nice. Look at the colors on this yarn. You can see that it has a lot of halo, a lot of fluff. There is a blue version too. Very nice. Then we have this gray and white. And last color option is this beautiful purple and green oh my god that that is gorgeous if I had to choose one I would probably go for this one 100 grams 500 meters that is definitely a full shawl right there if you want to make a sweater probably three of these balls will make you a small slash medium um, in crochet in knit you'll probably need less right next to it we have this new summer yarn. This is Grundl. It's another German company and it's called Pastello. Now right from the look of it you can see that this is a chain spun yarn. Once again they say that one ball will make you one shawl. Something like what she's wearing. And you can see that it has some variegation. It's sort of like it's not a like it's almost self-striping. Um, this is color number five and this yarn is 58 percent cotton and 42 percent acrylic so it's a chain spun cotton acrylic blend they say that you'll need about 500 grams to make a woman size 38 that's about a medium size sweater um, and each ball has 200 grams and 400 meters which i think classifies it uh, as a medium weight and here you can really see um, it is a thicker yarn so look at this very very nice chain spun it always almost has a sheen to it and um, we have this orange with yellow and then there's this pink and brown and I think that's that's the same that's the same like this one it's just uh, wound differently but same colorway so this orange is what's inside here and vice versa 
Um, but this, this one, I think, if I had to choose one, I would probably choose this one. Um, this is, my camera is not true, now it's true to color. See, that's pretty. Lime green and turquoise, very nice. Okay, so that's a nice start right here. Let's see what else they have. Okay, here we have a nice deal. Two euro ninety nine a ball on this creative bubble yarn. This is a Rico Design yarn, another German company, um, and this is sort of like a scrubby yarn. So this will be great for making scrubbies, um, and it's also um, shiny, um, glittery, as you can see. They have different colors here. Each ball is fifty grams and ninety meters and it is 100% uh, polyester so yeah it's actually exactly like scrubby yarn um, and we have blue and this blush color and this coral and yellow and green and this white that has sort of like a greenish uh, look to it very very nice um kind of a very good price for this specific yarn they also have this really cool orange here um i don't make scrubbies but i did use this yarn to make scrunchies and for the girls in the kindergarten um and they loved it um it's 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 a really it's actually a really nice choice um, for scrunchies. So um, if if you if you like to try this yarn, but you don't make or use um, scrubbies of any kind, that that might be another interesting idea of what to make with it. Okay, here we have a yarn that is a very very popular yarn. It's uh, Schachenmeyer Extra Fine Color. And uh, this Schachenmeyer Exo uh, Fine Color is a yarn that Schachenmeyer has been producing for years. Um, every year they come out with new colorways for it. It has different designs. You can see here um, in the little pictures the sort of design that the yarn make. So this is what this sort of yarn will make. Um, this one, for example, will make this sort of design here. Um, then you have ones that don't have a picture but um, you also have the solid ones sorry my camera is not focusing there it is so you really have it in every single color um, it's a very 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 popular yarn from Schachenmeyer here in Europe a lot of people like to work with merino it's very good for the winter it keeps you warm um, and as you can see they also have the lace version of the yarn this is the extra fine merino lace so it's even thinner than um, the other extra fine which is um, this one the first one I showed you guys this is like a like a sport weight then they have the lace weight one in different colors and of course they have the extra fine in solid as well so it's pretty much this whole wall here um, is this Schachenmeyer extra fine merino in every possible um, color and design um, because as I've said it's one of the most popular yarns from this company here in Germany I think it's like their best seller so they really hold it in, a, in every possible option here I have made um, some cowls and some baby um, baby cardigans with this yarn um, it's it holds very well um, it's super wash so you can put it in a wash and um, it's very warm it has all of course all the qualities of merino um, and I love the designs the designs that you they actually do look this way just like this just like the picture on the ball band that's exactly how they look when you knit with them when you crochet it looks a little bit different especially if you're if you use single crochet it might look similar if you use double crochet of course it won't look like that at all um, but in knit when you knit with them it looks exactly like that uh, it's a very very real pr representation of what they look like so yeah Schachenmeyer Marino um, extra fine color and 
extra fine lace, um, very, very, very German, uh, popular German yarns. Here we have a very nice, uh, cute new summer yarn. This is Schachenmeier Dinora. It's a chain spine yarn and it is 45% polyester, 36% viscose and 19% cotton and it is shiny, very very nice. They have it in different colors here. Um, it's a very light weight summer yarn and the fact that it's chain spun gives it even more of this um, light feel to it when you work with it. Um, there's a lot of like uh, the, the chain spun construction uh, lets the yarn or the final product um, be more let more air through so um, you know for for summer items that's that's really nice it keeps you know moisture and heat away from the body please excuse the noise that they are making here um, so each one of these balls is 50 grams and 115 meters. It's about 1.76 ounces and 126 yards in each ball. And you have the washing in instructions here, which I find it kind of funny that it's different from the... The symbols are different for uh, the EU and the US. Do you guys see that? I mean, the instructions are similar. The, the symbols are different. And they recommend a four and a half to five and a half millimeter crochet hook or knitting needle. They classify it as a medium four. I would say it's more in a DK direction. Um, but yeah, I, I don't always agree with the classifications of the yarn weights. It's kind of annoying that there's no one unified universal uh, measure but uh, maybe one day maybe one day so very nice they have a selection of colors as I said that would make a very nice summer top here we have the Rico design light and long tweed it's 50 grams 185 meters and it's 47% cotton and 43% polyester and 7% polyamide and 3% viscose. Very interesting um, combination here. It's another chain spun yarn. I think chain spun is like the latest word in, in summer yarns because as I've just said um, when we talk it about the other yarn I explained to you guys how chain spun yarns um, give those extra um, qualities to summer items that you make with them so a lot of the summer yarns this seasons are um, chain spun but this is a tweed chain spun which is something really nice I haven't really seen a lot of these before and they have it in different colors so this is a sort of like a cream with colorful um, with colorful flicks then we have this yellowish brown here. Then this one is like a sandy color with blue. Kind of reminds me of the beach. <laughs> Very nice. And here we have sort of like a cream and gray. Can you see that? So the yarn itself is variegated and it has the flex in it. We have a gray and blue. This one is a pink and green. Let me try to hold it to the light there. See? Very interesting and the flex are orange. This is a nice color. I mean, if I had to choose one, I would probably choose that one. And all the way at the top, they have one that looks like it has more colors in it. It looks like it's pink and orange on the outside, and then there's a green on the inside. This looks really interesting. So, um, the yarn is made in Italy. Um, but as I've said, Rico Design is a German company. Uh, yeah, that happens a lot. You know, American companies do that too. <laughs> made in China um, but very very nice and interesting yarn quite a nice selection of colors too so that would be interesting for this summer 
Now, this is a yarn that I have been eyeing on the website for a while and now I finally get to feel what it actually feels like. This is Ostermann, it's another European uh, company and this yarn is called Fair Shine. And as you can see, tinsel. So you, you understand why I'm drawn to this yarn, right? It's 70% uh, super fine virgin wool and 30% tensile. And um, yeah, it's organic textile, which uh, I love. And one of these, this is 100 grams, 280 meters, so it's about a DK weight. And one of these will make you this knitted shawl. Um, if you want to crochet, you're probably going to need two to make a decent size. Um, but there is a design inside of the uh, ball band, um, which is a knit design for those of you who knit. And the colors are just gorgeous and the yarn is so soft. Um, it's shiny like tinsel always is. So that's one of the, one of the good um, qualities that tinsel bring to a yarn is that shine and it's super super soft so you know super fine wool and tinsel very very luscious combination yeah as i've said i've been eyeing this um, on the website for a while so now that i know what it actually feels like probably gonna end up buying it um, they also have it here in those purples and greens and then there is this mustard color and brown and orange and purple which are very in right now the combination of orange and purple is a strong combination this summer and the last one they have here is this one it has browns and copper and green and some purple very very interesting colors so yeah I, I'm happy with this I'm, I'm glad that I got to actually feel what it feels like it's super super soft um, it is a roving yarn so as you can see it's not really spun um, and it is a single ply so um, you know if that's something that you don't like to work with that might not be the best choice for you but um, I like that so any I have to choose one of these um, and probably get two of them because I, I prefer to crochet with it and make myself a nice shawl. Okay, this is another big seller here in Europe. This is Ostoman Bio Cotton. Um, there are 50 grams in each ball and 800 and um, sorry, 180 meters, not 800, 180 meters, 50 grams. Um, and this is um, a very, very like similar to uh, what I said about the extra fine merino from Schachenmeyer. So this is a very, you know, everyday seller from Ostermann. Um, it's a cotton yarn, as you know, can be guessed from the name. Um, and it has, of course, all the certifications, um, European yarns, we, we are, you know, we, we, we love our certifications um, so it's certified with all the right <laughs> proper uh, things and it's available in a very large selection of colors as you can see here so there are different color choices um, that's I think this one is my personal favorite right now um, then there are the oranges and the browns and then some brown with uh, with blue and some different shades of blue and green and then all the way in the bottom those beautiful uh, blues and sort of like seaweed green um, so yeah again a very 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 popular yarn um, sort of like the cotton version of the extra fine from Schachelmeyer okay check it out they have Lana Grossa and Avalon yarns for 99 cents. Okay, you cannot pass this out. Check it out. This is the Lana Grossa yarn that they currently have on sale. 
This is Lana Grossa Olympia. Now the reason it's on sale right now it's because we are going into summer here and this is a 100% winter yarn but this is one of my absolute favorite yarns to buy here at winter. It makes super super luscious um, beanies and, and shawls and scarves and cowls you know it, it keeps you warm in the winter it's sort of like a thick and thin yarn as you can see here um, at some places it's almost like a jumbo and at some places it's like a decay um, and it's very good and comes in a very nice selection of colors so they have the green here and the brown which is very nice I actually had that colorway a few times in the past and they have the pink here um, now I have, as I've said, I've had a lot of this yarn. Um, some of it I used and um, some of it maybe some of you have gotten in my um, in my surprise bags. If you ever bought a mystery bag for me um, and you did it sometime around winter, then it is very, very likely that you have gotten one of these. Um, but now, as we are transitioning into summer, uh, they dropped the price to 99 cents. For each one of these balls so these are each 100 grams and 100 meters so very very bulky yarn as I've said and they are 60 uh, sorry 53 percent wool and 47 percent acrylic so you can imagine acrylic wool blend very bulky that's a warm yarn very very nice um, you know if I wasn't moving soon I would probably um, probably clear them out of it <laughs> but you know I don't have anywhere to store it right now so they're going to be staying here this time the other yarn that's currently on the 99 cent deal is this Avalon um, it's a 50 gram ball um, I've never had this before this has 80 meters per 50 grams um, it's 36% wool, 36% acrylic, 20% polyamide, and 8% polyester. It's sparkly. They have it in white and in very, very, very light pink. And, um, oh, it looks like they also have this interesting color, which I really don't know what to name. Tell me in the comments what, what do we name this. Um but this is very scruffy it doesn't feel soft it doesn't feel as soft as it looks let's say it this way so yeah mm, I don't know I mean for 99 cents maybe but otherwise I would probably not have bought it oh, I okay this yarn I love and it's currently on sale I'm not sure why because it is a summer yarn um, this is Ambra Melange from Ostermann. It's the same company that I was telling you guys before. It's another um, German company. It is a, sp a chain spun yarn. Super, super soft. This makes wonderful scarves. Um, and where are here? So it is uh, a polyamide viscose and wool blend. Um, however, you know, even though it has wool in it, uh, merino wool, when put together with viscose, can make amazing summer items. Um, you know, because even in the summer, sometimes uh, you can be a little chilly in the evening. Um, so this can make a wonderful like summer cardi, especially if you make it in a in some kind of um, lacy design with a lot of holes. <laughs> so yeah. There's not a, maybe the reason that it's on sale right now um, is because they don't have a lot of colors. I mean, other than this one that's very summery, um, the other ones are more winter feel, like deep browns and grays. Um, but yeah, three ninety nine for one hundred grams. Um, each ball has fifty grams. So oh wait, so this is three ninety nine for a hundred. No, three ninety nine for fifty grams. 7.98 for 100 grams and each ball has 50 grams and 210 meters okay so yeah so it's 7.98 for 100 grams is that um 
now it's not as cheap as it sounds. It sounded cheaper before. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's enough of this pink here to, to make a nice cardigan, actually. I mean, this basket is full of them. Um, yeah, debating. What do you guys think? Okay, now we are down to the real new season yarn. Um, this is Grundl Cotton Quick Batik. Um, it's very, uh, very nice cotton yarn. It's it's soft, um, but you can right away, just as you look at it, see that it's cotton, 100% cotton. Um, you can see it. I mean, for those of you who work with yarn, you can <laughs> recognize that this is cotton. Um, very, very nice colors. It's soft. It's soft cotton. This is very, very nice. You make beautiful summer items. Um, I would definitely make a summer top or like a tank top in these. Um, they have a picture of a shawl here. It's probably just to demonstrate the colors. Um, they say that three balls will make you this shawl, this triangular shawl. But I would not use that for shawl. I don't like that striping effect in a shawl. I would like it more in like a tank top. So they have this rainbow color here. And then they have this Ooh, amazing combination. I love that. Look at the turquoise and orange. <gasps> that combo is beautiful. And then they have green and gray. And purples and greens so you can kind of see that the color combinations in the different yarns from the different companies for for this summer are kind of like the same so i guess you know we we can sort of figure out what are the colors of the season look at this beige and purple very nice so yeah cotton quick batik um, i would classify it as a sport weight Perfect, perfect, perfect tank top or summer top material. All right, another new summer yarn. This is from Rico Design. This is um, a ribbon sort of like like fettuccine yarn, <laughs> and this is bamboo. So it is. It kind of have like a chain construction. It's bamboo, and it's fettuccine. So very very interesting yarn 100 percent viscose from bamboo 100 grams 120 meters and i actually just uh recently wrote a pattern for a summer hat using exactly this kind of yarn this fettuccine sort of yarn and yeah i'm planning to release the pattern sometime in april so this yarn would be perfect for it. It will actually make a wonderful summer hat. Um, I really like that. Other than summer hat, I would probably use this yarn for, you know, any kind of summer items that would make a wonderful summer cardigan. Uh, it will make a beautiful top. Uh, you can even make a swimsuit cover out of it because it's bamboo and we all know bamboo has very, very nice um, cellulose qualities. Um, so yeah, very interesting summer yarn. Very light, I gotta say. When you look at it, uh, when you hold it, it almost feels like it's not even there. So interesting. Okay, this is Shachenmaier Catania. If you are European, you know this yarn. Um, this is the most popular cotton yarn from Shachenmaier. It's called Shachenmaier Catania. Comes in balls of 50 grams in every possible color of the rainbow. And this is a very soft, very nice, very high quality cotton. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is a this is very super popular uh, Shachenmaier yarn. Probably out of all their yarns, probably their number one seller because it sells all around the year. Um, even you know, even in winter, people use uh, this cotton for for different items. You make baby items with it. It's good for amigurumi. Um, it's good for for summer clothing. Um, it's good for kitchen wear and home wear. And yeah, like I said, every possible color that you can just think of. 
and um, they actually have a very nice price on it here it's uh, 265 per 50 grams all right I found a yarn that I have to show you guys I have no idea of what you can make with it it's called Mondial Trio Mondial is a Italian company I think it's either Italian or Spanish I don't remember right now um, but this yarn it's 200 grams 440 meters it has 64% microfiber 15% mohair 15% um, microfiber PC I'm not sure what the difference between the PA and PC is and 5% polyester so other than the mohair this is all you know main main made fibers um, but look at this yarn it has like very very thin lace weight mohair and then it, it turns into this eyelash do you see that so even almost like faux fur then it turns back into that very very thin lace and then a different color of that and in between it has this chain spun glitter I mean they have it here in this orange and then look at the look isn't that an interesting yarn look at that you can really see like this is that that faux fur eyelash I'm not even sure how to categorize it then it goes into that chain spun glitter and then that very very thin lace mohair what can you what would you make with it like anything you make with it will be really funky look at that picture that looks like a really funky design shawl I'm almost tempted to get it just to try it out um, they have it in that pink that orange this brown and there is black and gray and silver and sort of like bluish oh wow oh look at that wow look at that glitter it looks so cool I almost want to get it but I have no idea what to make with it I mean if I make that shawl I will probably never wear it what does it even go with um, it says one ball makes one shawl <laughs> well very interesting how much is it how much is it no price on here hmm oh my god I might just have to get one because I've that's not a yarn you see every day give me ideas in the comments let me know what do you make with this what will you make with the Mondial Trio Alright, accessories corner, of course, they have all the prim hooks and prim ne needles, it is Germany, and then here we have Addy, and let's see what we have on the other side here, and this is the button wall, look at that, ooh, look at that button wall, it's almost like it looking at me so you have everything from very big bulky buttons to very small different colors different textures different sizes everything you might want there's really cool children items buttons that is really cool look at how big that wall is look at that that's a button wall Okay, so this was uh, the yarn section here at Galeria Kaufhof and we are moving on. There is one more store that I've been told holds yarn and I haven't been to before. So come join. Alright, so this is the store. I have no idea and also I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of it. Um, it is actually a design store but I have been told they have yarn so we're gonna check that out um, I'm going to go inside and see if I can find the yarn section alright I'm not sure if 
you can really call it a yarn section, more like a yarn shelf. <laughs> but it's nice, there's a little selection. Um, these appear to be all the same yarn, just different colors. And it is 100% cotton yarn, organic, of course, Okotix. And um, has 50 grams, 160 meters, which makes it a somewhere between a sport. Well, yeah, I would I would say it's a sport weight. Um, yeah, regular cotton, kind of soft. Um, I think it's comparable to Hobie <laughs> Rainbow. Um, if you've ever worked with that, then you know what that's like and it's made in India so yeah every possible color of that it's very nice and I like I mean I like how it's presented then down here we have some baskets um, Let's see. Uh, this is okay. It's just called wool blend. <laughs> um, seems to be fifty-two percent cotton and forty-eight percent wool. So it's a cotton wool blend. It's nice. It has some halo. It's nothing high quality from the feel of it, but you know, if you want to make a simple beanie, um, they have this really cool orange. That's a nice color. And there's this blue, and I don't see any other colors of it in here. Um, maybe it's this? Yeah, wool blend. Um, yeah, seems to be the same thing. So we also have this dark blue and this sand color. And over here we have red and blush pink, that one. Okay, so there's a few color of that. Then there's this one, which I don't see any other of. Um, but this feels like 100% wool and it is 100% super wash wool. Um, it's roving, not spun. Nice, looks like it will be good for felting. I mean, it doesn't feel like something that I would just wear against my skin, but it will definitely felt well, I think. Um, made in China. Yeah, I know it's super wash, but you can still felt it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't wear it just like that. It's too, too rustic to just wear against your skin. And there's only one of these and only this color, so I don't know what happened here. And then in this basket, we have what we call Utah. Ute? Ute? Utah? 100%. Um, this is like basket yarn. Wouldn't make anything other than home accessories with it because, no, this is not wearable. This is like um, pot planter material, um, you know, coasters, um, maybe placemats, this kind of stuff. And there's this like purplish gray, this uh, beige, this uh, forest green, and this seaweed color. All right, over here I found little cotton minis. So it looks like it's the same yarn that we saw there in the bigger skeins. But these are 10 gram minis, 
32 meters each. And again, there's a very large selection of colors here. Seems like every color that they have in the big ones, they also have in the small ones. And these are super cute. So, I mean, if you feel like for amigurumis or for a, any kind of mini skein project, um, or just to make a ton of like different color flowers and make a a spring wreath for your door those are really cool um, the only downside to this is the price <laughs> you get one um, euro 54 for 10 grams um, I don't know that uh, it sounds like a lot don't you think they have a nice selection of needles and hooks here um, These sort of remind me like the Rico needles. Um, they have different sizes. Five millimeter, three millimeter, two and a half. Oh, I put it in the wrong place, sorry. And four millimeters. That's nice. I wish there was a price on there. Oh, there is a price. Okay, it's two euros. So each needle is so that's not bad. That's nice. The handle is rubber, the top is metal. You can use these, they're not bad. They have buttons, they have some collection of embroidery thread. Very nice. Then they have long wooden knitting needles and over here they have the circular there they are also wood very nice nice selection now for me in this store this is the highlight these are ceramic yarn bowls and let's see if we can get the price on them sorry for the noise These are 5 euros and 14 cents. That is ridiculous. For that price, you take 10. <laughs> they are really nice. They are a good size. They will definitely fit a 200 gram cake. Like uh, yarn art flowers, yarn art rose garden. That will definitely sit nicely in there. And I like that so the yarn doesn't run away good weight, sits on the table, doesn't fly or slide off, 5 euros, it cannot be that, it's probably, that's probably the one item here that I would buy. Okay, so once again an overall look, that's a very very small corner in the store, um, but you know this isn't a yarn store so I didn't expect much more, it's nice to find in a home design store. Um, but, like, I wouldn't come here especially to buy yarn, maybe if I was just passing through. But nice to see, always nice to find out new places where you can find yarn and accessories. So let me know what you thought. Alright everyone, so this was uh, today's shopping trip in Aachen. <laughs> Time to go pick up the boys at Hebrew school again. So I am saying goodbye. And let me know in the comments what you thought and which uh, yarn was your favorite. And thank you all very very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>